Hello, it's Hyju. Paris Morgan had Pearl Davis on his show called Uncensored. On the show, he played a video of Pearl Davis singing a song about Jewish people. In the song, she said, people, like, I think she said something like, Hitler isn't a good guy, but she wonders why. Like she was basically, when Pierce Morgan asked her what she meant by that, she was basically explaining why, yeah, Hitler isn't a good guy, but why not have that conversation that he's not a good guy? And we all know that Hitler isn't a good guy. He got a lot of people killed in the Holocaust. There is no doubt that he is a bad guy. He was a dictator, he was a bad guy. There is no doubt about that, right? But what she was saying was, what about the people who think that he's a good guy? Should they be able to have a conversation with other people about that without getting punished for it? Here's what I would say about the freedom of speech. People have this misconception that, oh, I have the freedom of speech, so nothing can happen to me. That's not how it works. The freedom of speech protects you from the government. It doesn't protect you from regular people. If people want to fight you because of what you said, it's going to happen. So your freedom of speech doesn't exempt you from the consequences. It just exempts you from the consequences from the government. That's it. So people had that misconception. I want to clear that up, but a lot of people should know this by now at this point. Um, and I saw what Pearl Davis was saying. She wasn't saying that Hitler was a good guy. She was just saying like, you know, if you think he's a good guy, or not a good guy, you know, we should have that conversation. Um, I understood what she was talking about. I don't think we need to, because we know he's not a good guy because of what he did, but I understand why she said that. And Pierce Morgan was just confronting her. And he said to her, you deleted the video. So that basically means you felt bad. I believe that's what he said, like, Oh, you delete the field means that you feel bad. And I disagree with him on that because you can delete a video not because you feel bad, but because of backlash you were getting. And she said herself she deleted it because it was just a headache. Basically what she meant was she was getting a lot of criticism for it. And she was like, you know what, let me just go and delete it. Because a lot of people are criticizing me and it's just too much. That's basically why she deleted it. She didn't say she felt bad for making feels. She said she deleted because a lot of people were criticizing her. She was getting backlash. That's the reason why. And Pierce Morgan was bringing up this guy. I think he's a white supremacist, but you know, he was talking about the Holocaust, I guess making conspiracy theories about it. But um, it was basically this guy, Nick Fuentes. I believe that's how you say his name. And he kept bringing them up, like, oh yeah, what guys like these? Be like, oh yeah, she is basically saying Hitler's a good guy and stuff. And I was like, I don't think that's what she said. And I wouldn't have thought that she was referring to Nick Fuentes when I saw that video. I would have thought maybe she was talking about Kanye West because like not too long ago, Kanye West was talking about Hitler and you know, the Holocaust. So I could see it being a reference to Kanye. And she did say in the interview that it was a reference to Ye. So that made sense to me. I wasn't thinking like, oh, she's talking about Nick Fuentes. I wasn't even thinking like that. Um, I think Kanye even met up with Nick Fuentes one time with Donald Trump, if I remember. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I remember something about that meeting. Like, I think I remember hearing about me in between Kanye and Nick, if I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I remember hearing about that. And yeah, I didn't understand why Piers Morgan brought up the guy Nick because I'm like, the feels about, it's basically a reference to Kanye, so I didn't know why he brought her up. But it did seem like a setup, to be honest, because when Piers Morgan brought up the video and he mentioned that it was deleted, Pier I almost said Piers Morgan, Pearl Davis looked like she was surprised. She was like, like, she didn't expect for the video to come on, or at least she didn't expect for them to say, oh, it was deleted. But I don't think she knew 
that the field was going to be brought up. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I did see a field pop up from her, say, um, Pierce Morgan betrayed her. I didn't watch it, but the title of her field said on her YouTube channel, Pierce Morgan betrays, you know, her or something like that. So, yeah, it was crazy. She looked surprised and then Pierce Morgan brought on a woman who I think is um, like some type of organization for anti-Jewish hatred. Like basically, um, she is against people hating Jewish people. I think that's what it was, something like that. I think she said she was a lawyer too. But the woman got on the show, and it seemed like she disrespected Carl Davis at one point. She said, either you're stupid or you're an intelligent woman who has hatred or something like that. I forgot what she said, but I was just like, wow. And then she called her a bigot. I was just like, okay, yeah, this is really getting out of hand. I was like, wow, she is really disrespecting Pearl. So, yeah, she basically called her stupid. She said, if you're not stupid, you're a smart woman with hatred. I was like, wow. She basically said that she hates Jewish people, it sounded like. I was just like, wow. But, yeah, that was a strain. But, um, yeah, that was something else. But I can understand where Pearl Davis is coming from. Some people can say she's right. They can say she's wrong. Here's where I can say she's right. I can say that she's right for saying that well, I, I see what she's talking about. She's basically saying that she feels like there shouldn't be censorship to a point where people get banned on social media. She's talking about people like Andrew Tate. You know, people said that Andrew Tate had misogynistic views about women. And because of that, um, he got banned on social media. I think, yeah, I remember Instagram banned him. I think YouTube even banned him. I think Twitter did at one point, and then Twitter unbanned him. I forgot that went, but he's tweeting on Twitter. So I think what she was saying is that people should be allowed to express their opinions on social media without getting banned or censorship. And one thing I can say, I feel like if somebody is trying to indoctrinate people and spread misinformation, then I can understand why they would get banned or that video where they are indoctrinating people or trying to indoctrinate people gets deleted. I can understand that because by those spreading that, other people can have that same view. So people, there shouldn't be misinformation being spread. People can have their own opinions about things, you know, free speech, but they shouldn't be allowed to spread misinformation. That can ruin another person's reputation. So whether people should get banned and not for their views on things, even if you don't agree with them, I can understand why they would get banned and then I can understand why they wouldn't get banned. Like Andrew Tate, if his views about women are misogynistic, I don't think that he should have gotten banned for his views because there are people who have those views that aren't banned on social media. And I think they should be able to express those views without getting banned. But I can understand why he gets banned for it. But I don't think he should get banned. But I guess whether a person should get banned based on their views, um, I think it could depend on the topic. Like, it depends on how bad their take is. Their spread misinformation, yeah. It really, I think it really depends. So I can't. I don't know if I would say whether Pearl is right or wrong about that. I can see where she's right. Then I can see where she's wrong. I think it really depends on the topic when it comes to whether a person should get banned on social media for their views. I feel like it really depends. Like if you're promoting hatred and stuff like that, I can see why you would get banned. But if you're just expressing your own opinion, but you're not, you know, promoting hatred, then yes, I understand not getting banned. So. I think it really depends. But yeah, I can understand where she was right about the Hitler thing. I don't think Hitler's a good person. I don't think most people even think Hitler's a good person. But I think that I I can understand why 
she says that people should have that conversation if they want to. And yeah, I can see what she's talking about. Even if you disagree with the person, like strongly disagree with the person about Hitler being a good person, you know, you probably should be allowed to have that conversation. But you should get ridiculed for it because you think Hitler is a good person? Yeah, you should get ridiculed for it. But you probably could have that conversation without having people want to fight you and all that. But yeah, guys. I can understand where she's right in this situation. I think that she was right for having the views that she had. Even if you disagree with something she said, I can see how she was right. And I can understand, I understand what her video was about. I understand why she made the video and I understand why she deleted it. She was getting bad last, so she deleted it. She didn't feel bad. She just was like, okay, I'm getting criticized. Let me delete it. But yeah, guys, I wanted to get my views on that. And um, the show is called Uncensored. And I definitely wouldn't say Pierce Morgan was censoring her because he brought her on his show. I guess it would be one thing if he criticized her. And he was like, oh, she can't come back on the show because she said this, she said that. I'm not going to let her express her views on my show. I'm just going to say... What I think about the situation, she should have said this. So I wouldn't say that he censored her because he brought her on the show and let her get the chance to express why she said what she said. Some people were saying she, he was interrupting her. Yeah, you could say that, but he was, he did ask her questions about it. Even if he asked her again, he did ask her why she said this, she said that. But I can see where Pierce Morgan was wrong in this situation. Um, but I can also see where Pearl is right. So um, to some people, it may not be a right or wrong in this situation because you can understand both perspectives. You can understand why Pierce Morgan didn't like what she said. You can understand why Pearl Davis said what she said. So I can understand both perspectives. If I had to pick who's right and who's wrong, I would say that Pearl is right. That's just my opinion. But overall, I could see both of them being right at the same time. If I had to say, but if I had to pick, I would say Pearl because I can understand her perspective on the situation. But I can see where Chris Morgan is wrong. If, if he set her up and then tell her like, hey, we're coming on the show to talk about your video. Do you want to talk about it? If he didn't say that to her and made her think that they were going to talk about something else, then yeah, she he's definitely wrong for that. Like if he did that, yeah, he's wrong for that. And she's right. But yeah, guys, I just want to get my thoughts about this situation. 